Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh god, they're still alive! What did the Geth do to them? Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit... Unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Ugh. Oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. Just a little bump on the head. Let him sleep it off. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander.
Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me... Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just, I just knew there were some packages here, something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. 
We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. I have to go. Good luck. Thank you.